Hello and welcome to a quick video where I will run through the steps of how to use the AGD Music Asset to add AY Music to your AGD games. Um, AGD is Arcade Game Designer by Jonathan Caldwell. Uh, we're on version 4.7, that's the one that I'd recommend that you use. Um, we'll use one of the demo games, so we we'll use Diamond Giza. Uh, one of the important things to do is make sure that you've got um, the sound effects, AY sound effects inside AGD off because otherwise you will hear stuttering so what we'll do now is we'll save this tape um, I'm going to save it as diamond okay um, we don't want a basic loader so we press no if you will save it and then I will save the tap or tape so I want to put it inside this folder here and we need to call it game dot tap so we've saved that so we can come outside of AGD now um, I've extracted the AGD music Kaiser to a folder here in my specy folder um, I've extracted it all the files the couple of folders you don't need to bother about but you can have a snoop around if you want to but if you made it with anything you might break it um, so we've got the game dot tap that we've saved um, that's pretty much all you need to do. Then take a PT3 file. A PT3 file is a Pro Tracker 3 file. It works in an application called Vortex Tracker by um, Sergi or SV Bulba. Sergi Bulba. Um, lots of music are available out there. There's a link in the bottom of this video for a nice PT3 archive as well as ZX RE. So. How does it work? We take a song, we drop it on top of the musicizer, we'll see a, a window pop up, and it'll explain what it's doing, it'll tell the file selected, the size of the file, and compressed, it'll compress the file, tell you the compressed size, create a loader, um, get the author and the title of the music, it'll bake that into the assembly code and give you the overall size, and then it will save as the name that you picked in AGD when you were saving your tap. Does a clean up and then launches it in the background. So we can see we've got a game with AY music. Cool. Um, if you want to add a screen, it's quite simple. Um, simply place a screen file, a script file is um, a screen file that's saved from an application such as um, ZX Paintbrush or this one so there we go, this is the file that I've edited and then you know, saved it as a pick screen, saved it there so I've got a nice screen file in here now so let's pick a different song, let's try dance, one of my favourites, drop it onto the musicizer and you can see the screen, because we've got edge loading on it's going to load quite quickly but you can see the screen there. Um, and to choose a different screen, I'm going to just rename this one to uh, old, I've got another one here, so let's use that one and let's change the music, let's put on unknown, another one of my favourites. There you go, you so screen load, and then the game starts. Close all that down. Um, that's pretty much it. The <laughs> They both really do the same thing. I've removed the poke from the normal music card because I found it unreliable. Um, all the code that is assembled is here. Um, so you can take a look at the code if you want to and make any changes or amendments you see fit. Um, there's some documentation here and there's some credits as well of all the kind of people that have been involved in the various applications that make this possible and that's pretty much it thank you for watching